<laughs> hey, how's it going, everybody? How you doing? It's Bruce here with Traveling with Bruce. Welcome to the show. June the 23rd, 2018. It's Saturday. It's Saturday. How's it going, everybody? Having a good weekend out there? Uh, we're having a wonderful time here in Creston, British Columbia, where it's cloudy and it's rainy and it's yucky. That's what it is. It's yucky, but 65, 70 degrees, I guess, will be our high, kind of, sort of, like that. Uh, no dust. There's, there's no dust in here. You know, that's cool. Uh, you know, what can I say? Uh, but I'll tell you. Um, we're gonna have mosquitoes uh, <laughs> after you know after the rain. Uh, you know those larvae they get rehydrated or however this works, and out come the critters. But what are you gonna do? It's just the way it is. Welcome to the show. I'm Bruce with Traveling with Bruce. This show all about talking about well cruise ships and cruise ship vacations, going on holidays. Uh, if you're a cruiser, uh, you've come to the right place. If you're uh, if you're addicted to cruising, you know this is where you get your fix in between cruises. If you've never cruised before, this is the place for you too. You will learn all kinds of stuff about going on a cruise and you can ask any question you have about uh, your cruise ship, uh, cruise ports, uh, rules, uh, what can you bring on board, uh, packing trips, uh, tips, uh, all, all kinds of stuff. And uh, I welcome you all here. If I can answer the question on the spot for any newbies, I'm happy to do it. If I can't, uh, my viewers who are here with me, uh, my regulars who sort of uh, sign in here, uh, they'll uh, they may have the answer for you. So there you go. Uh, say hi to me from wherever you're at out there. Uh, tell me what town are you watching me from? What's your high temperature today? If you've never been here before, tell us you're brand new and uh, and let us know. Have you cruised before? <clears throat> are you going on your first cruise? If you're going on your first cruise, uh, tell us the name of the ship. Uh, what ship you going on? And where are you headed? You going to Alaska? Going to the Caribbean? Going to the Mediterranean? Are you going to be the British Isles? Uh, let us know. And uh, and we'll be more than happy to uh, give you any advice and info you need to know. Uh, we can you know, try to help out. Uh, thanks again to all of my loyal followers out there. Uh, subscribe count continues to rise, uh, approaching 2,285-ish uh, subscribers now. Um, I posted a, a, a little Facebook ditty. Uh, those of you who don't know, I, have a, I now have a Facebook group page called Traveling with Bruce. If you ever want to check it out, just go to Facebook, hit the uh, you know the, uh, the search bar, put in Traveling with Bruce. Um, I posted a video on there this morning that I shot back in December. And at the time, I had 120 subscribers. <laughs> and I was all excited because I had 70 the week before, like, like a week or 10 days earlier. I only had 70. And now I was at 120, almost doubled my subscriber count in the you know, to get to 70 took me three and a half, four months to get there from zero. So this was a channel on the move. And uh, I, I, I said something like, I think we're going viral. <laughs> Not Casey Neistat viral, just, just viral. Anyway, I posted that video today uh, on the Facebook page for all of you who want to see kind of, wow, well, uh, let's see Bruce in the early days uh, when his channel was all of uh, four months old or so. Uh, it's now 10 months old. <laughs> it's not like ancient history, but... Wow, 120 subscribers versus 2,280-odd now? Oh, my God. That is just, oh, man, it's incredible. Most of you have probably never seen that video because you weren't around. Uh, makes sense to me. And at the time, uh, the video I think I, 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 I uh, copied or, or, or reposted there was uh, talking about uh, news in the cruise business, so what was going on, new ships that were coming out. And I was talking about the Norwegian Bliss. Talking about the new one with those uh, electric go-karts on that go-kart track uh, back in December of uh, 17. So uh, you get the chance later today. Head over to uh, the Facebook group page. Check it out. All kinds of folks are posting uh, pictures and videos and stories of their, of their uh, travel experiences, their favorite cruise ships, uh, stories of cruise ships. It is fantastic. I welcome all of you to come by to that uh, that. Uh, Facebook group page and uh, join in. Oh, don't forget the dance. Jen is just hinting here. Bruce, don't forget. The steamer posted a video on that uh, Facebook page. Uh, I nicknamed it the gravy of uh, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, biscuit, the boy, the biscuit boys. Um, uh, you got to see this for yourself. It's a bunch of guys uh, dancing, uh, no top, uh, just shorts and construction boots. <laughs> There's a lot of there's a lot of this going on, and uh, I, I I don't think I should go any further. I, I think your imagination will now just take it from here, 
And uh, head on over to the old Facebook page, Traveling with Bruce, the group page, and uh, check out the vid. Uh, the uh, Biscuit Boys are dancing the night away. Oh, my goodness, is that fun. And comments have been coming in already from the usual suspects. So, uh, yeah, you'll, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, those of you who are regulars. Oh, if you've never been here before, I don't want to scare you. Uh, it, it's not that kind of channel. Uh, we're <laughs> we just have a lot of fun here. And sometimes, uh, you know, uh, some of my viewers get the best of me and we just go down a tangent and we just can't help it. Um, and like I said, uh, one of my favorite viewers, uh, the Steam and Bean, who has his own YouTube channel, the Steamer uh, found this video and he posted it on my uh, Facebook group page uh, last night. And I've been giggling ever since. So, uh, yeah, get a chance. Check that out. A lot of fun. Uh, other news or just, just you know, what's going on here with the old channel. Uh, we are 10 months old, basically, a little, little over 10 months. And uh, uh, because of you guys, uh, you're the loyal viewers that I have and my subscribers, um, because I, I do this full time, uh, they're keeping me on the air. Uh, I'm still able to keep on doing this. Jen has a day job, and, uh, and I've got this as a day job. And I've got folks coming into my affiliate link uh, for Amazon. Uh, if you check below here, below me, there's the description, you know, usually a description of the video. And down there is a, a, a link to Amazon. If you go to that link, you hit that thing, it'll take you to the Amazon homepage. And if you're an Amazon shopper, uh, hey, folks, go to the affiliate link I have and shop from there. Uh, anything you buy on Amazon, uh, the channel gets a royalty. Like we get a little commission on whatever you pick up. Makes no difference to your price. The price is the same. But uh, earlier this week, uh, one of my uh, regulars, uh, he gave me a heads up. He said, Brucey boy, I just ordered a couple of dehumidifiers for the office. And let me tell you, man, uh, $630 uh, $600 or something they cost. Uh, he had to get two of them. And uh, the next day, sure as shooting, uh, the order showed up. And it got shipped out. And uh, the channel earned a $50 commission. 50 bucks unbelievable what a beautiful gift that was just money out of the blue uh, normally people are buying stuff for 10 15 20 30 dollars so you know we're getting in on 50 cents here a buck there 70 cents here dollar 20 here i don't care wherever it comes from it doesn't matter it just adds up but once in a while oh my goodness any of you guys want to get a gucci handbag for five thousand bucks please if you know somebody tell them to use my affiliate link <laughs> they'll keep me on the air even even longer i can catch up on some bills unbelievable so thank you all one and all for uh saying uh helping support this channel through the uh, amazon affiliate link uh it is much appreciated for sure other, other folks have been helping out um sending uh, uh, uh donations cash donations to uh, my paypal uh, link which is up here on the home page uh, there's a paypal logo up there uh, folks have been sending uh, uh, funds there, and I uh, can't be more grateful. It's fantastic. It comes in instantly, and 94% uh, of it lands, uh, in, you know, in my PayPal account. It's a pretty reasonable deal. Um, and um, I was going to say that uh, up until a few weeks ago, about three, four weeks ago, uh, I was uh, uh, just uh, getting funds coming in here through uh, Super Chat while I'm on the air, like right now, um, which is a YouTube thing. And I don't mind Super Chat except for that if you send me say say you send me 10 10 bucks just use a round number you want to send me ten dollars i only get seven of it uh three goes to youtube to handle the transaction and they get a profit if you send me ten dollars in uh in uh, paypal i get nine dollars and sixty cents it's a huge difference and i get it right away with with youtube it has to go through the system and it's only paid out once a month and it's two weeks after the end of each month so I've had instances where people send me some money on the third day of the month and I don't get it until the 22nd of the next month. Uh, that's just the way it is. And it, it you know, eventually catches up. But speaking of YouTube, I'm so happy to report, uh, it happened two days ago. My regulars know this, but those of you who watch me occasionally, I have been remonetized. It took 120 days for the monetization to come in. Um, unacceptably long too long but what can i tell you i can't you know i could, can't make them go quicker um but uh, the irony of it was that the day of uh, monetization the actual day it happened that morning i was watching uh, my youtube channel I'm, i watch videos too and there's a youtuber a uh, fellow that works at youtube his name's tom 
and he posts videos uh, once a week, sometimes twice a week, uh, updates what's going on at YouTube, which is great. I love it. I, I'm so grateful he does this because it's a you see an actual human being talking to you from YouTube. Really nice. And he is not a pro. He's not like a hired guy. He's just a guy. He's just an employee. And uh, he's taken upon himself to do this YouTube channel, which I think is brilliant. He has over 60,000 subscribers, which I'm sure are all YouTubers like me. And we look to him for anything because <laughs> yeah, I can't find anything on I, I, whether I don't know what I'm doing. I can't find a YouTube official anything uh, that is reliable at all. It's just it's just such a mystery thing. You have to kind of figure it out yourself. Anyway, Tom is talking about what's going on. And I thought to myself, Bruce, why don't you send him a message? Like, you know, I get comments all the time from my viewers. Why don't I send him a comment? And ask him if he can help me. Uh, I haven't been monetized since uh, Feb 20 when I reached 1,000 subscribers, 4,000 hours of watch time. I had all the parameters done, but I still wasn't monetized. So I, I sent him a note. And um, uh, that evening at 10 o'clock, uh, my channel lit up. I got the, uh, I got the uh, green light for monetization. And in the first two hours, <laughs> from 10 o'clock until midnight, those two hours that I was monetized that first night, I made 29 cents. 29 cents in two hours. How about that? That was unbelievable. Anyway, I wrote him a little note. <laughs> I said, Tom, if you had something to do with this, because uh, I, I was remonetized, if you had something to do with this, I want to thank you very much. If you didn't have anything to do with it, it's just coincidence that this happened, you're my lucky charm. I <laughs> just am so happy. But uh, in the eight hour or nine hours that it took from when I wrote the memo, you know, the little note, when it actually got monetized, when the channel got monetized, I got about five uh, messages piling on top of my message from other YouTube creators saying the same thing. I've been waiting since January or February. I haven't been monetized either. I got all these hours. I've got all these viewers. Please help me. Please help me. Uh, so, you know, I don't know if all of them have been monetized yet or not either. I'm hoping that what's happening here is that it's in the system and it's got, it's now happening. That as each day is going by, so many thousands of more YouTube channels are being remonetized uh, because I want this to be over. I mean, this has been a terrible burden on a lot of us, and it's just been stressful as all get up. Because at first you go, well, you know, they told us it would be a week, and then they said, oh no, it'll just be about a month. No, it'll be it'll be about another month. And then, no, at the end of June, you know, like five months, um, we were worried that they weren't even going to make the the June deadline. So, uh, you know. I don't know. If I if I wasn't monetized right now, I'd still be at wit's end going, how long do I have to wait? Anyway, thank goodness it happened. And uh, yesterday, full day, I made eight bucks. I made eight dollars in advertising revenue yesterday uh, or for the, sorry, day before yesterday because everything's one day delayed. So Wednesday night, I made 29 cents. Thursday, I made eight bucks. And um, the $8 uh, is surprising to me because the amount of views that my channel has right now is not that high. Uh, I've been higher than I'm doing at the moment. Um, I'm off about 40% from the height of my average daily volume viewing, uh, which was uh, February, March, because that was the height of the Caribbean season and summer cruising season. Right now it's June and uh, uh, the cruising shows are popular, but they're not as popular as in the springtime as far as I can see the demographics working out. nonetheless. Uh, $8 days. I didn't have $8 days in January. I barely was getting $8 days in early February. It was only in the latter part of February just before I got cut off that I was starting to hit $9, 10 $11 a day in advertising. So to have $8 come in from uh, only 60% of the average views that I used to have, this is great. Um, I'm not sure the reasoning for it except to say I think it's you guys. Um, the channel is maturing out, my, my channel. and um, 45% uh, of my viewers are female, 55% are male, where a lot of YouTube channels that you see out there or that are not related to this topic, but the gaming channels, um, the, uh, the, uh, you know, the hobby type channels, whatever, there's a lot of channels out there, a lot of them that uh, have 90% male and only 10% female. Channels that are female, uh, have a high percentage of female viewership are much fewer. Uh, I'm, I'm going to guess. 20% maybe, 80% of the channels are male dominated one way to the other because there are gazillions of uh, gamers out there on YouTube and that type of thing. But um, I'm one of those channels that's almost a 50-50 split between male and female and my demographic is a higher demographic. My The advertisers know that don't bother uh, uh, advertising um, uh, you know, stuff that a 12-year-old boy would want to buy 
on Bruce's channel because he doesn't have those viewers. You want to advertise uh, what people who love to go on cruises and vacations uh, want to see uh, advertised, what they're interested in. And so some of you have been commenting on the kind of advertising you've been noticing, the kind of advertisers you've been noticing. Uh, and that's telling me, yep, that they pay more. They, 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 they are, um, that type of advertiser competes greatly to get in front of your eyeballs. And, um, that's what I've been saying to YouTube since they cut me off. Guys, <laughs> I've got the greatest people in the world watching my channel. You want to be advertising to these folks. They're great. Uh, they have, you know, uh, the ability to take a cruise once or twice or three or four times a year. You should be ad advertising with me. And finally, it kicked in. So, I, again, uh, was it just happenstance and it was my turn? Or uh, did Tom make a phone call and say, hey, uh, I got this uh, message from this guy. Let me link you over to him. And uh, why isn't he monetized? And they went, oh, yeah, this guy should be monetized. Well, yeah. Click. All right, yeah, go away, Tom. Stop bothering us. I don't know. I don't know. But I don't care. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> so there you go. There's a quick hi, how are you, and an update on what's going on. For those of you who are asking uh, from time to time, you keep wondering about uh, uh, where I'm at with this thing. And uh, U.S., 29 cents U.S. Uh, yeah, you're wondering. Uh, it's U.S. currency, baby. It's the big bucks. Yeah, the big greenbacks. Uh, I just saw that comment. Okay, I'm going to say hi to everybody here because I see the comments coming in. Uh, we did have some fun yesterday. Towards the end of the show yesterday, we had some troll activity uh, sort of in the last 15 minutes. And uh, then we had a few folks who were saying hi to us and we weren't quite sure what was going on. And some of them were not trolls. Some of them were. And, uh, you know, we'll kind of keep an eye open. We did have a troll attack about two weeks ago where in about a 10 minute window, I had, I must have had 30 or 40 trolls just show up. They, they, they ganged in because they organized themselves for little, little posses and then they hit live streams hard and they try to really disrupt them. And um, we had 32 thumbs downs come in in 10 minutes and uh, it was like uh, 17 thumbs ups, 32 thumbs downs after only 10 minutes of airtime. <laughs> and of course we were eliminating the trolls because they were putting on some pretty nasty comments and uh, we were eliminating so they couldn't post again and uh, as the show went on all my regulars were giving me the thumbs ups as they always do and by the end of the show we had 40 thumbs ups and 32 thumbs downs or something like that we had to be able to knock them down but uh, the 32 thumbs downs never go away they're always on the record of the channel doesn't matter it's it just adds more activity actually to the flow of the channel uh, but last night we had a little bit of troll activity and so we're watching for that so if any of you see it let me know uh, anyway here we go I'm gonna say hi to Tracy Dunlop Tracy signed in here um, saying hi Bruce uh, and all uh, storms in Naples Florida today uh, lots of thunder and rain on and off probably going to miss most of the show today had relapse having infusions uh, the next few days will be back if possible Tracy hang in there get better rest and watch us when you can if you can watch us on a rerun that's fine too uh your health is the most important thing and the storm wise we're in the same boat as you are we've been thunderstorming here now for almost 24 hours blaine 07 uh hi bruce and all 92 feels like 105 in hilton head island south carolina it's a place i'd love to visit someday watched it over the years the golf tournament there uh for the last what 30 years of my lifetime 35 years of it, i've seen that tournament right after the masters uh someday would love to be down there blaine welcome back as always jim thomas 102 for a high plus some wind oh boy <laughs> hey hey i'll hope we have a troll free day uh me too welcome back jim <laughs> great to have you pal randy lucas is here greetings bruce and all great day here on the ridge in paradise california where today's high will be 97 degrees and we have a high fire danger that's not right that's just not right but it is a fact of life randy welcome back and Michelle, if you're watching, welcome back as well. Nice to have you guys here. Amanda, Kust uh, uh, is here. Amanda, how are you, Amanda? We're at 70 and bright sunshine for once in Oregon. Laugh out loud uh, because of the incessant rains and so on. Uh, Amanda, welcome back. Uh, welcome here. Um, hope you have a good time with us today. Paul, Ada, hello from Moose Factory, Ontario. Moose Factory, Ontario. Where, where is that, Paul? Uh, where are you near uh, Moose Factory, Ontario? Give me an idea. Uh, welcome to the show. Seakeeper, hi, Bruce, and all 88 degrees uh, here storming outside. Thumbs up. I may transgress my rule and go see your channel's Facebook page. <laughs> I'm sorry, Seakeeper. Uh, I know you're not a fan of Facebook, and uh, 
But if you want to see that, uh, you want to see that video that was posted of the uh, of the biscuit boys, uh, <laughs> the biscuit gravy boys. I, I just gave them a nickname for that. That's not what they're called. That's what I'm calling it. But uh, you're going to have to break down and <laughs> check it out. Oh, gosh. Tom Henry. Hi, everyone. Hi, Tom. Randy. Hey there. Uh, TH. Um, Brandon James. Yes, Bruce, I'm back. Brandon, welcome back. Uh, I told you I ain't a troll, and I'm glad you're not a troll, Brandon. I'm so happy. You have to understand, Brandon, we got attacked uh, in about like four days in a row. And first, it was like a huge, huge huge organized posse of real nasty buggers and then the next day about a little echo came in a little a few more of them and then the next day just a couple and then it sort of filtered out but every once in a while we we get some and we had some yesterday during the show so we were a bit twitchy here uh but welcome back brandon i'm glad you're here tom henry 84 in richmond tom henry hi randy welcome back brandon uh barry uh, larry blake uh, 69 in atlantic city larry welcome to the show uh that's not bad 69 yeah. It's not too windy. Welcome to the show, buddy. Tom Henry, 29 cents US or Canadian. It's US, buddy. Tom Henry, ah, the beach sounds good, Larry. <laughs> Desi Wagner, uh, good afternoon, all. 74 degrees and partly cloudy in the Chicago suburbs. Love that town. Uh, welcome, Desi. Say hi to everybody in Chicago for me. Heather Young, going to keep your videos and ad playing for you. Thank you, Heather Young. You're wonderful. Uh, this is great. Maureen loves Bruce. I uh, love this. Uh, hi, Brucey boy. Uh, hello, Maureen loves Bruce. Is this, uh, th there's my photo there. Uh, is that, is, are you real? <laughs> Uh, we'll see. Uh, welcome to the channel. Uh, Tom Henry, uh, multi-head showers, bathroom renovators need to advertise here. There you go. Uh, I mean, it's the new thing. I mean, it's the new thing, multi-head showers. Tom, uh, Randy Lucas, 106 days till our next cruise on the Liberty of the Seas out of Galveston. It's another back-to-back -back for the lovely Michelle and I. Fantastic, Randy. You got to love those back-to-backs. It just makes it so much easier. Uh, Debbie Manuel, hi, everyone. A bit late today. Out picking up more um, uh, SD cards. Uh, last Saturday before the bliss, Yahoo SD cards. More picking up SD cards. What's an SD card? Uh, you'll, you'll tell me. Uh, Alisa Mestis Garcia. Sorry I'm late. Alisa, welcome back. Uh, nice to see you here. Brandon James, come on, Bruce. Answer comments. <laughs> <laughs> Debbie Manuel, even 105 in Chico today won't bring him, uh, won't bring me down today. Uh, not even 105. Hang in there, Debbie. Uh, stay indoors. Yep, you're getting ready for a cruise. What are you now? Six days, seven days away. It's next week. It's fantastic. Uh, Brandon, don't be sly. Uh, Tom Henry, Debbie, those are at Amazon. Laugh out loud. The steam and bean. Hey, biscuit lovers. Steamers here. How you doing there, pal? Blaine, steamer, how are you? Tom Henry, Breen, do you have any uh, Hardee's there? Uh, very good biscuits. Uh, we don't have Hardee's in Canada. Um, uh, biscuits in Canada. Where can we get good biscuits? Uh, KFC. Uh, they used to have dinner rolls with the, you know, the KFC gravy up here. Oh, but the Canadian gravy is different than the KFC gravy down south. It's it's different. It's I think it's better in Canada, but that's just a, I've been I've grown up on it. I get. But oh yeah, dip the KFC. Dinner rolls in the KFC gravy. Oh, nice. Oh, my goodness. Um, <laughs> Randy Lucas, count me in that group beaner. <laughs> Debbie Manuel, TH, uh, Tom Henry, got my other order uh, from Amazon, but GoPro actually arrived yesterday, so I had to get one for it just in case. Oh, SD card for, for the camera. To, yeah, to store your photo. I got you now. I understand. Tom Henry, I better keep the uh, cell cam going in case you swat an unarmed troll. Need to report that to Good Morning America. Laugh out loud. <laughs> Desi Wagner, uh, just read Norwegian is having $1 deposits on some cruises. Isn't that something? Uh, Scott Weber, hi, just got here and it's 63 overcast and drizzly here in Palos Verdes, California. Wow, 63 drizzly, no fire, forest fire problems there, but still, uh, welcome, Scott. School, uh, cool Jazz is here. Hello, Bruce from Cloudy, New York City today. Temperature 62. Welcome from the Big Apple. Great to have you back, Cool Jazz. Steaming bean, Hardee's is good. Uh, steamer knows. I, I agree with him. It is. Elisa saying, uh, getting ready to hit the pools, having cruise blues. It's hot in Santa Maria, California. And yeah, you got to hit the pool. Absolutely. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Paul uh, Paul Ada, James Bay Coast. Oh, you're the James Bay Coast. Man, you're up there. Awesome stuff. Uh, are you on the Quebec side or are you on the Ontario side or are you on the... Uh, uh, Manitoba side, um, a steamer might know even. 
Uh, welcome, welcome from way out there. That's awesome. Uh, Tom Henry, Randy, is the Liberty uh, OTS uh, doing Alaskan cruises? Um, Liberty of the Seas. Is the Liberty of the Seas doing Alaskan cruises? I saw an interesting Facebook post. Didn't know what she meant by Liberty at that point. Uh, all right, uh, let's, we'll find out. Randy Lucas, uh, TH, not sure if she cruises to, uh, to Alaska. Not sure. Uh, Tom Henry, I just noticed my pick is uh, on the icon today. I didn't do anything other than log on to YouTube with my laptop, which is not usually used. <laughs> well, Tom, I've seen that logo before. I've seen your your shot uh, before. Um, for that. I've noticed it like lately. I don't know how lately, but lately. Um, yeah, uh, Maureen is saying, "Ye, I'm real Bruce, you beauty." I, I, I know. No, no, no. Where, where are you? Uh, Maureen loves Bruce. Really, where are you? Uh, talking to us from a uh, bit puzzling there. Scott Weber, SD card, more memory for you, electronics. Uh, AJ Walsh is here. Excessive heat warning in Las Vegas, high of 111 degrees, but my car temper is 122 degrees. I had heat stroke. Can't wait for the bliss to Alaska in August. Wow, AJ, take it easy. Holy macaroni, that's crazy down there. It, at least it's a dry heat, but oh man, you can sure get hit with that. Welcome back. Cool jazz. Tim Hortons might have biscuits. Um, Tim Hortons, yeah, they've got like uh, the English muffin, the English biscuits. They got the bagels. Of course, they got, you know, they got donuts. I mean, after all, sweet, sweet biscuits. <laughs> uh, seakeeper, I bake a mean batch of biscuits. <laughs> That's the problem, Seakeeper. If you can bake them and they're that yummy, you know, it's hard to resist. And boy, you have one too many once in a while. Next thing you know, you're one biscuit short of. A certain weight classification. Got to be careful. Oh, man. Scott Weber Hardy's is called Carl's Jr. here in California, and it's wonderful. Love the $6 burger when they brought that out back in the uh, in the 2000s. Uh, that's where I remember it from. Used to order the $6 burger at uh, Carl's Jr. I love it. Love the, uh, the other thing you got to do is they gave you the cup. You went to the soda machine. And I uh, love to grab the, uh, the lemon, squeeze the lemon in the cup first. And then underneath the, the Diet Coke uh, filler up, and you could get refills. And Friday night pig, Friday night football at high school. My daughter went to uh, Palm Desert High School, and uh, we would go to the school Friday nights to watch the football team play, and my daughter would hang out with her pals. And uh, we'd go to Carl's Jr. first. That was the tradition, Friday night. Go to Carl's Jr., get a $6 burger or whatever you want, and then get one of these honking mugs, these, these big sport cups they had. And fill it up with about a third with ice. And on the way out the door, top it off one more time. And then you take that in with you into the ball game. And, uh, man, that was mm, that was great. Friday night, uh, high school Friday nights in the USA. So different than in Canada. Unbelievable high school football. Just incredible. Loved it. Uh, Kai Jefford is here. Hi, Bruce. I'm back. I was here yesterday and couldn't wait to watch you again today. Welcome back to the show. Nice to have you returning again today. Uh, thank you for, for coming around. It was nice to have you. Larry Blake, uh, how does a back-to-back -back work? Um, uh, Larry, it's real simple. Uh, you book two cruises, either with the same ship or two different ships. So, uh, you know, the first cruise is from, say, oh, I don't know, let's say it's from January the 1st till January the 8th, and the second cruise is from the 8th to the 15th. If you're on the same ship, you don't have to get off because the cruise line knows You've checked in for both cruises already. You just have to get off the ship for a customs clearance, come back on again, which is a separate. Uh, you, you're, you're, you go with you go with a group that are all back to backers, and the or cruise line organizes you guys, and you go off, off the ship and back on the ship, and you're good for another week. If you have to get on another ship at the same port, uh, you take all your bags off, of course. You uh, you pack up and get off the ship, clear customs, and then uh, you know walk to the next pier or take a quick shuttle bus wherever the next ship is and just get on that one and uh, head in and check in and go through the check-in procedures just like you did on the first cruise and you're cruising again back to back randy did three back-to-back -back cruises uh, this spring uh, one western caribbean one eastern caribbean on the same ship and then on the same ship he uh, took off from uh, miami to copenhagen uh, transatlantic repositioning cruise awesome i think it was so 29 days randy something like that Incredible. Um, that was fantastic. Uh, Randy Lucas, uh, Larry B, a back to back is two cruises in a row. Marine loves Bruce. Uh, in, uh, in from, uh, in from Bruce land. Uh, you know, Marine loves Bruce. I, I don't know if Marine is real. I don't know. Uh, Marine is being cheeky and I'm kind of thinking, eh. 
We'll see. Uh, Tom Henry, where are you going on those cruises, Randy? Uh, good question. They're probably, they're probably Caribbean, aren't they? Cool jazz. Is is there a, are, are, is there a White Castle? Are there White Castles in Canada? Not that I know of. Uh, if they're anywhere, they would be Toronto, the, the most heavily populated city. But I don't know if White Castle is in Canada or not. Um, uh, let's see here. Uh, Stephen Breen, uh, did you watch uh, the Hamilton and Edmonton Friday night game? I did. I did watch that game. Uh, saw Hamilton kick Edmonton's butt. Unbelievable. Uh, Edmonton's got problems. Iskew Park. Hi, Bruce. It's Iskew in Thunder Bay, Ontario. It's plus 13 Celsius. Not very nice out here today. Uh, yeah, we, we've kind of, you know, we've got overcast and unsettled weather here. Uh, Kai, uh, how has your day been today, Bruce? Very busy, Kai. It's been very busy today. I've been up since uh, 4 in the morning doing my research today, working my channel. Uh, I've been just just going. Mr. Tigbath is here. Mr. Tigbath, hey, my friends recommended me to you. Hello, Mr. Tigbath. Where are you? Uh, where are you? Where, where are you uh, uh, watching us from? And what's your high temperature today? Say hi to us. Scott Weber, uh, on a back-to-back, -back, do you need to recheck in for the second cruise? Again, it, it, uh, if it's the same cruise line, no. If it's a, uh, if it's a uh, different cruise line, of course, yeah. But it's the same cruise line. Uh, they've got you checked in for both. They already know you're there for two. Uh, you can always go downstairs to the uh, to the main hotel uh, desk and make sure everything's all right. Keep uh, keep on top of your room account, and all will be well. Uh, Steamy Bean, when my sister was studying dentistry, she visited Moose Factory as a dental student. How about that? See, the steam I knew the steamer had a. I knew the steamer would have an idea where that place was. Randy Lucas, uh, Thomas Henry. First week is Rotan, Costa Maya, and Cozumel. Second week is Cozumel, Georgetown, Cayman Islands, and Falmouth, Jamaica. Fantastic, Randy. Great uh, collection of uh, spots. Steamy Bean, no White Castles in Canada. No, I didn't think so either. Maureen loves Bruce. I'm not fake, Bruce. You're stunning. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, Debbie Manuel, Randy, a uh, nice choice on cruises. Uh, Tom Henry, no White Castles here either, uh, but I can't tolerate onions, so I don't eat them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Randy Lucas. Uh, thanks, Debbie. Uh, Mr. Tigbath, the UK. I'm from the UK. Everyone, uh, cool. I'm glad you're glad you're watching from the UK. That's way over there. Uh, welcome to the show, and uh, hope you have a good time with it. Uh, Tom Henry, it sounds great, Randy. Did you get the same cabin for uh, both Steaming Bean? But Canada has Harvey's. That's right. We've got Harvey's in Canada. Uh, that's where they uh, they uh, char broil the burger on the char char broiler instead of frying them. And then uh, they've got all the uh, the uh, toppings, and you pick them. You, you literally, you go into the restaurant, just stand there, and I'll have some of those. Can I have another slice of pickle, please? Yeah. You you literally tell them how and how much of each topping you want. And they got like fifteen of them, and the sauces and everything else. But if you go through the drive-through, then you just have to kind of you know just have to tell them what you want, and they'll work, they'll put it together for you. Of course, most folks who go to Harvey's are regulars, and the staff knows them. <laughs> so. Steamer pulls in. They go I, the usual steamer. Okay, uh, fair enough. Unless that's the first day for somebody, then there's someone training the rookie. Going, okay, this is the steamer, and this is how he likes his burger. Take care of this guy. So there you go. Um, <laughs> Blaine <laughs> Bean, is that the Harvey's uh, grocery store you're referring to? No, that's a burger joint. Marine, I love the hairline. It really gets me going. Oh, okay, I think Marine is is wearing out the welcome. <laughs> I think Marine's almost gone. Randy Lucas, uh, T uh, T H. Yep. Uh, Tom Henry, Maureen, you need a Bruce uh, shirt uh, from Redbubble. I have the dolphin shirt that says, I love Bruce. Yeah, Tommy, I don't know if Maureen is a fan. Uh, Steamy Bean, did you see on social media uh, Paul McCartney visiting Liverpool? It was awesome. It really was. Um, I commented to uh, to uh, Jen about that in the morning. We watched it. She watched it after I had watched it in the morning, early in the morning. When I watched it, there were half a million views. When she watched it, it was 1.1 million views. Yesterday, early evening, 4 million views. Last night, I looked again at the count. It was over 5.5 million views of that video. Absolutely incredible. Uh, so good. Just so good. Um, it was absolutely fantastic. Blaine, Bruce, tired of seeing this uh, Maureen person. Uh, Seakeeper, big whack a troll hammer at the ready. I hear you. Uh, cool jazz. Did Bruce hire a PR person to promote this channel? <laughs> Laughing out loud. Steam and bean. 25 years ago, I used to pull up to Harvey's at 2 a.m. constantly. <laughs> Uh, do, do you ever do any of you know uh, Sonny's Burgers? Uh, it is okay, this is a Canadian question, by the way, for Canadian. Anybody ever heard of Sonny's? Uh, S O N N Y S. I believe it might have been only in Ontario. Uh, they made good burgers too. It was kind of like a Harvey's, uh, but I don't know if one bought the other or one disappeared. But Harvey's kept her going. Harvey's is now Canada wide. Um, Kai Jefford Bruce, uh, who do you go on cruises with? 
or uh, uh, do you go alone? As I'm interested in how uh, loan trips are, as I have no friends, so I'm thinking of going alone. Uh, Kai, the problem, uh, the problem, Kai, uh, for single travelers um, up until lately, uh, and hopefully it's going to get better, is uh, you got to pay double the fare because uh, cruise lines like to rent a cabin out to two people, you know, two travelers. Uh, cabins are designed for two people, and they like to get double fare per cabin. So if you're a single, uh, you got to pay for two people, even though you're on your own. And that's a pain because <laughs> it's unbelievably expensive now. You're paying way more than anybody else. Now, a number of cruise ships have started to come out with single cabins, and they're offering what are known as single supplement fares, where they're allow allowing you to book on your own, come on the ship by yourself. You got a room just for you. Uh, might be in a collection of six, eight, or 12 other rooms, kind of in an area there where you have your own little lobby area. You might have like a little kitchenette area where you, you, you can make your own coffee and get some refreshments uh, as, as part of your package and only you singles can get there. Um, but there aren't that many cabins per ship these days. Holland America is starting uh, to do this. Norwegian is starting to do it. Not sure about P&O out of uh, the UK, uh, but if you go to the websites of these cruise lines, um, they'll, uh, they, they will have a section there about single supplements or fares for single travelers and you can dig up the info. Um, that would be a way to go. Um, Marine loves Bruce is saying, I'm your biggest fan, Bruce. I, I don't know about that. I, uh, I, I have a, I have a, uh, I just have a, uh, a feeling that, 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 that it, the sincerity isn't there. <laughs> Dom Henry, uh, Breen, which biscuit uh, do you like the best? Uh, I go for the steak burger. <laughs> Steam and bean, not good for the baseline. Uh, Tom Henry, and I thought Bean was the biggest fan, laugh out loud. Brandon James, Bruce, not going to lie. You make me erect. There you go. I think I think we have a uh, winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Um, we're gone. <laughs> uh, goodbye, Brandon. Debbie Manuel, bye, Brandon. Sonic is, is Sonics is good. Blaine, hi, Kai. Singles cruise would be perfect for you. Tom Henry, not so good, Brandon. Uh, Marine loves Bruce. Can I come on cruise with you, Bruce? Uh, yeah, there we go. Goodbye, Marine. You're out of here. <laughs> Another one gone. Uh, we know. We know. Um, steak burgers, good. Steamy Bean says, Elisa, uh, 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 okay, she got to go. Uh, who with me? Uh, there, yeah, she's gone. Tom Henry, uh, Kai, cruises are the great place to make new friends. They even have a daily meeting for singles to get together. Seakeeper, which princess ship accommodates uh, solo travelers? I was mentioned uh, I was mentioned yesterday, but I forgot. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, Brandon reported. Thank you, Randy. Uh, yep, those guys have been reported. A couple of trolls have been eliminated from contention <laughs> from further participation. Uh, yeah, you, you, give them, you give them a short rope, and then you got to pull the pin on them. What are you going to do? Um, Anyway, yeah, single cruises, what can I say? Uh, it, it's uh, it's still one of those things where some cruise lines offer, uh, as we know, some cruise lines offer uh, single supplement cruises and some don't. Uh, Lisa, any group cruises coming up soon? Uh, uh, Lisa, I'm working on it. I've been talking to vacationstogo.com about helping me coordinate one, two, three, four. And uh, as soon as I have something together, I will let you know. Uh, uh, let's see here. So Kai is saying, so I can meet other people like me. I'm 76 years old. Are there many, uh, my, my age on cruises very much. So, uh, Kai, uh, uh, there are a whole bunch of folks uh, in your age group. Uh, Tom Henry, the trolls were a bit sensitive today. Uh, steam bean Harvey's had the super burger. Did they still make that or is, or is that gone? I don't know. Um, I remember Harvey's used to be like a family chain or a, or a, a kind of a small company chain in on Southern Ontario when I first came across them. And then they went national because an outfit called Cara Foods, which was known for the national contract with government of Canada, they were the, uh, they were the uh, food supplier to Canada's airports, Cara, C-A-R-A. -A. And Cara uh, eventually acquired Harvey's. And took it national. They had deep pockets, and then Kara went public on its under its unto itself. And I think they also own in Canada Swiss Chalet. That's also part of the same family of restaurants. And so there you go. All right, we got some stuff going on here. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, Seakeeper. Now I have to clean off my hammer. The last one was a bleeder. <laughs> Steam and Bean is saying, "Kai, go for it." Uh, Steam and Bean Harvey's had frings. Had frings. Oh man. Desi Wagner, laugh out loud. Seakeeper. Um, Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. Sure, yeah, yeah. BKJ, uh, what a wonderful, what a wonderful moron that guy is. Holy moly. 
let's get rid of BKJ. Uh, oh my gosh. Blaine, oh yeah, Bruce, update on my cruise price dropping. I called today. I got a $210 onboard credit since the price has now changed. So thanks for that. Blaine, this is this is great. This is fantastic. Uh, uh, Kaya, I'll go with you. Um, Mr. Tigbeff says, Kaya, can I meet a date on cruises? Hmm, yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering here. Kara, food's in the 70s. That's right, Steamer. Tracy Singh, I'm back for a few. Uh, Tom Henry, on my last transatlantic cruise, we had a neat lady who was probably around 70 that has done many, many cruises all uh, by herself, all by herself. Cool Jazz, Hall America would be good for you, Kai. Um, and then uh, BJK is gone or BKJ is gone. Steamy Bean, wonderful moron. Uh, Eliza, I have Will I have Will Bean on three at the end of this year. Would like to try uh, East Side. Since I'm on the West Coast, guys, burgers are good on the uh, Carnal O, aren't they ever? At least they're fantastic, aren't they? I'm hearing nothing but good stuff about those guys. I haven't tried that yet. Uh, that's uh, As soon as I get on the Carnival, uh, if I get on the Carnival ship and it has to have a guy's burger, I'm not going on it. Simple as that. Yeah, Debbie Manuel, yay, Blaine, uh, the steaming bean. I am tempted uh, for paying for the spa. A steamer, you got to do it. You, you just got to do it. It's Yeah, you'll save money elsewhere because you'll spend so much time in the spa you won't spend money in the casino as much because the spa is open, you know, uh, what nine in the morning till 10 at night, something like that. Uh, you want to, you want to check that out. Uh, the first, the first uh, minute to get on the cruise, like the first day, take a tour of the spa and find out the, uh, the amenities of the spa that you're, that you, they're available to you uh, and see what you think and then find out how much they want for this, for the past. Um, let's see here. Uh, steaming bean, $200 us, but so tempted. Uh, Big Terry. Uh, okay, Big Terry. I I'm not sure, Big Terry. I have a feeling you might be uh, you might be one of those guys. Uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna go for a bean. Guy Jeffrey Bruce, Bruce, do you have merchandise? Guy, you don't talk to me. You don't sound to me like a 76 year old guy. You, 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 the terminology you use it just doesn't look like you're 76. Uh, Steaming Bean, I'm Bruce's biggest fan. I mean, literally, he's you know uh, biggest fan. Steamer say. Eliza, oops, I saved $360 on my seven-day cruise and paid under $1,000 sailing in September. Fantastic, Eliza. It's Tom Henry, you can live in the spa from 8 a.m. till 10 p.m. Beaner. Uh, Tom Henry, exactly. Kathy, I don't uh, I don't think Guy is 76. Nobody in their 70s says merch. I, that's right. And, uh, and uh, my friend here, uh, Big Terry, who the hell is Big Terry? Uh, really? Uh, yeah, I, I, think we have, uh, I think we have a few more... Uh, possible uh, candidates but we'll have to we'll just keep an eye on them uh the the, the, the hammers are ready uh we'll see what gives <laughs> oh my goodness gracious uh you know, like i say every once in a while they, they come around and uh you know what can i say and you have to you have to address it uh bruce mate i ain't one of those troll scum uh terry uh terry um there's something about you uh won't let me change my youtube account name to my real name uh that i find impossible to believe uh i think youtube you can change your name if you want um <laughs> cool jazz big terry a prison buddy maybe <laughs> maybe uh you know maybe i don't know i don't know um big terry where are you where are you watching me from where, what where's your hometown what's your high temperature today uh kai uh, i learned my terminology from my grandchildren e Tom Henry, be nice, Bruce. A real troll will show us colors. Uh, that's they will. It's just only a matter of time. Uh, we had a couple do it already. Eliza, no guys burgers on the slender. So uh, the slender, so sad. Um, they will get their upgrade next year. Yeah, they will. Uh, all the cruise lines and Carnival will have guys burgers. All of them. Uh, no doubt about it. There you go. Well, today I tried to. Uh, uh, I tried to. Uh, yeah, these we, I got all these UK people all of a sudden who are trolls showing up. Have you noticed that, folks? Uh, I'm being accused of a troll. Uh, it's just so fishy, you guys. Uh, Desi Wagner, Elisa, I think the Slender is getting the 2.0 upgrade when it goes into dry dock. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll keep an eye on things. Anyway, today I tried to book the most expensive cruise I could. <laughs> today, why don't I go to vacationsgo.com and instead of looking for the best deal, why don't I find out the most expensive cruise I can find? And at first, I started looking at the six-star cruise lines, the high-enders. And uh, I quickly found that um, it, it would be pretty simple to find uh, 
uh, it would be pretty simple to find uh, uh, cruises in the four hundred to six hundred dollar a night range. Um, uh, you could find it. Uh, you could find uh, cruises up into the eight hundred thousand dollar range per night per, uh, per person, U.S. dollars. Uh, I even found uh, a couple of cruises over two thousand dollars, but these would be the what we would re refer to as the exotics. These would be the Antarctica eighteen day. Um, you know, one-off cruises that, uh, you know, we would, you know, never be able to really get to. Um, and uh, and uh, I thought, oh, I could go into those and talk to you all about those. But then I thought, you know what I'm going to do today? Instead of that, instead of going to the six-star high-enders, uh, which uh, anywhere from 300 to 800 a day, I thought, why don't I look for three cruises on the three most popular cruise lines that we talk about all the time? I thought Caribbean, Royal Caribbean, uh, sorry, Carnival Cruise Line. Royal Caribbean Cruise Line and Norwegian Cruise Line, and that's exactly what I did, and um, and uh, I figured that's you know the direction I was going to go. Uh, hang on one second, folks. I'm going to do some house cleaning right now. Um, just take care of a few things. Uh, one moment, while I take care of, uh, um, I move on here, and uh, do 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 do. There we go. And uh, pardon me, folks, as I finish my work here. Um, don't be going nowhere, folks. Don't be going nowhere. Mm, mm, mm. Almost there, folks. Almost there. Um, and one more time. There we go. I've just, I've kind of, I just, I've kind of cleaned house uh, with respect to a few individuals. And uh, I don't think I'm wrong. <laughs> All right. Uh, goodbye, some of these folks. Um, okay. I have to go, everyone. Have a great weekend. Keep cruising. See you, Eliza. Eliza, have a great one yourself. Steamy Bean, I made the cut. Barely. Steamer, you're still here. Okay, so what I did was I took a look at Carnival Horizon. I wanted to get uh, an idea on a, uh, on a nice cabin there, and I wanted to find something on the Symphony of the Seas. And then I was looking for something on the Bliss, but I was having trouble uh, finding it, so I found something on the Norwegian Breakaway. So here's what I found so far. Um, Debbie made the cut. Tracy, uh, you're happy I made the cut. Yeah. Dom Henry, I, I better uh, what I say or I might get cleaned out of here. <laughs> Careful, Tom. Uh, yeah, you all made the cut, but I've uh, I've made a few changes. All right, um, Carnival Horizon. I thought let's find out the most expensive suite that would be applicable to 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 uh, to Jen and I. And here's what I came up with. Um, uh, it's an eight night Caribbean cruise uh, from Miami, uh, May the 18th, uh, as an example. Um, uh, there might be cruises. Uh, Eight day cruises, I might be slightly more, slightly less, but this is kind of an idea of what we're talking about here. The kind of money you need. Uh, I was looking at a grand suite, and I could only find one available on deck seven. That's how booked this ship is. It's unbelievable. Um, and uh, uh, the price for the for the cabin per person thirty one hundred sixty nine dollars a person plus one hundred twenty seven in taxes and fees came out to thirty two ninety six, or for both six thousand three hundred thirty eight dollars. Add the tips. 6,816 bucks. You can also buy something called vacation protection from uh, Carnival, which I think is price guarantee, uh, some medical uh, coverage, that type of thing. Um, uh, another 189, uh, I believe a person, uh, or I could be wrong, it might be for the whole package, 7,194. So just under $7,200 for the Carnival Horizon for eight days, uh, May 18th, all right? So that's 7,200 bucks. Then I took a look at Royal Caribbean Symphony of the Seas, and I thought, well, let's see, uh, let's see what happens with that cruise. Um, seven night uh, Miami departure, uh, Caribbean cruise, of course, May 18th to 25th, so it's the day, same day of departure. Uh, this was an aqua theater suite, an aqua theater suite in the back, so it was on one of the wings of the cruise ship, looking down on the pool, and look, you had in effect a, what would it be 270 degree view? You could see. All the way over here, all the way over here, and all the way over here, and all the way over there, uh, with a wraparound type balcony. Pretty cool stuff. Um, uh, Forty eight hundred and twenty five dollars a person for a total of nine thousand six hundred fifty dollars U.S. plus taxes, one hundred twenty three bucks 
times for two people. Total $9,869 US dollars. I don't know if tipping's included in this deal. I didn't think it was. Um, it still didn't include specialty restaurants. It, it, it didn't include a drink package. It, it's just fair. So 9869 American for this uh, suite. Pretty impressive unit in an incredible location. Uh, looking out, I didn't write down the deck number on in this case. Oh, I did. Deck 11. I wrote down deck 11. And it's a one-bedroom. It's a one-bedroom uh, balcony, aft balcony, uh, uh, aqua theater suite. Pretty interesting looking deal. Then I came up with uh, the next one uh, from Norwegian. I thought, all right, Norwegian, what have you got for around the same time frame? Well, the breakaway was available on a seven-night Caribbean cruise out of Miami, leaving May 19th, the day after. And um, it was a haven aft facing penthouse, one bedroom and balcony unit uh, on the 12th deck. It came with uh, all the packages. So it came with an open bar package. Uh, the, the, what I'm about to quote you came with drinks, specialty dining, three passes uh, for three nights of Wi-Fi and short credits. Um, and they quoted me in Canadian dollars in this case, because I mentioned that I was from Canada. I did that in all cases, by the way. But the first two quoted me American dollars. Uh, Norwegian quoted me in Canadian. Canadian dollars, $5,220 for the uh, cabin per person, $185 service charge. $214 in taxes came out to 11,239 Canadian dollars or around 8,000 US plus or minus a hundred bucks or so. So it's around that 8,000 US mark. And uh, I think that's, uh, that's probably uh, a, a, a might be the best deal uh, of the three uh, because uh, for eight grand, you had the three specialty dining uh, for both of you. You had the Wi-Fi, you had the drink package, um, had a Butler service. Uh, you're in the, haven which means you had the haven exclusivity its own private area whereas on royal caribbean you were in the aqua theater suite um nicer suite bigger unit great views uh but it didn't have the bar it didn't have the uh, especially restaurants you still have to pay extra for that and you're already at 9800 bucks go and going with the carnival um uh this uh uh like i say this was a grand suite um sort of in the middle of the ship deck seven not not near the top uh for seventy two hundred dollars uh, i'd pay the extra 800 once i'm in this neighborhood another 800 dollars isn't going to stop this guy and for 800 more i got the drink packages i got the special restaurants i got the wi-fi i got the haven uh, area that would work for me um i know that on carnival i could have shifted over to the uh, the cabana area uh cubana area um but i like to be higher on a, on a cruise ship again this is just me playing with what if bruce won the lottery today what would he do uh but i thought that was pretty interesting uh coming up with these quotes and and doing but i gotta tell you folks what a pain in the rear end to do this work uh it took me a long time to uh to um to go through it all it, it took me a long time uh i was on i was on the carnival site for 15 20 minutes i was on the royal caribbean site for 15 20 minutes on the norwegian 10 15 minutes uh, and I, I think I know what I'm doing. Um, I, I found it a, a tedious, laborious exercise to find this deal. I, I'd rather just phone vacationsco.com and say, guys, talk to me. Uh, he, he, I'll talk to a human being who's got the computer system right in front of them. I can watch live while they do it. Uh, they'll tell, you know, I'll, we'll, we'll compare the deal number and I'll see what I see on my screen. They'll tell me what they see on their screen. And then they'll say to me, well, go to the cabin link and I'll show you all the cabins available. And, you know, they guide you through it. It's fantastic. Uh, anyway, there you go. Uh, comments. Uh, let's see. Uh, see. Steamer, I made the cut. Tom Henry, I better watch what I say. <laughs> Tom, Tracy, glad you cleaned house. Debbie says, I, I made it. Steaming is laughing. Uh, Tom Henry, let's see. It's 1147 Pacific time. Where will Debbie be next Saturday? <laughs> She's on a cruise ship. See, keeper. No, whack me. No, no. <laughs> Debbie Manuel, hope to be uh, sipping on my on at least my second tropical cocktail on board the Bliss. Thomas, that's right. Iskew Park, I found Region Cruise Line is the most ex expensive around. Randy Lucas, Debbie E. Awesome. Desi Wagner, that sounds great, Debbie. Sylvia, hey, everyone. 89 degrees in Greensboro, North Carolina. What uh, what cut did everyone make? Sylvia wants to know. Hi, Sylvia. Uh, Bruce cut some trolls. Uh, Steaming Bean, my sister sails on Seaborn. Quite posh, yes. Tom Henry, uh, hi, Sylvia, or, or possible trolls. <laughs> Thomas Henry, hi, Bruce, watching from Illinois. 
Ah, so, uh, Sylvia, hi, Desi, those stinking trolls. Uh, Tom Henry, oh, no, the Seaborn legend, the ship crashed in speed, too. Oh, my. Tom Henry, who's impersonating me? <laughs> Glenn uh, Tillerton, uh, here we go. I made a new account so I can use my real name. Uh, Glenn Tillerton, so you got two new subs. Uh, Tracy Dunlop, do you figure gratuities on drink package uh, that they automatically charge on NCL? Uh, they, uh, that's a good one. Um, I, you know, Tracy, I know that on the sun, the, the, the drink package is part of the cruise. It's part of the fare. So it's probably already built in, but I could be wrong. Maybe there's an even an extra surcharge on top of that. I don't really know. A uh, steamy bean. I got the drink package on NCL for 150 bucks. Yikes. That's high. Well, no, no, wait, not wait, not. You get the package for the whole cruise. Uh, how many days is that uh, steamer? Thomas Henry, how's your day, Bruce? Nice day where I am, Thomas. I am good. Uh, we're all good here, Thomas. We just have we've been having troll issues uh, lately. Desi Wagner, Bean, are you talking just the taxes for NCL drink package? <laughs> no, Steamer says. Tracy Bean, we are casino. Uh, we are casinos at sea members on Norwegian, so get free drinks in casino. So don't pay for a drink package. Just don't do it. How about that? Uh, if you're a casino player, you, you just get the drinks there. Steaming Bean, I had five choices and I chose the drink package. There you go. Right on. Elusive hacker. Hi. Uh oh. Uh, Jim Thomas. Ouch. Got bill for knee. Oh, ouch, Jim. Steve Bartley. Glad I am too cheap to consider those cruises. Uh, AJ Walsh. NCL always gives you the most for your money. Very interesting. Tom Henry. Debbie. Did you pick up on the problem? Uh, Bruce didn't notice. Um, Debbie. Did you pick up on the problem? Uh, Bruce didn't notice. Steamy Bean. Next year, I am on the anthem. Uh, Steaming Bean. Seven days. Oh, seven day cruise. 150 bucks. Deal. Yeah. Deal. Uh, Iskew, Region had a super relocation cruise from Vancouver to Miami in October with Canadian at par was 38000 for both uh, on a balcony. Yeah, these are unbelievable prices, aren't they? Uh, and you're looking at like, uh, what, 15, 18 days, something like that. So you do the math, you know, uh, uh, 19 grand a person, 1000 bucks a night. It's, uh, it's just it's insane, isn't it? Desi Wagner, the free at sea is the only way I will get the drink package. Otherwise, it's too expensive. Right on. Uh, yeah. That's what happens. Uh, Kyan Tillerton, I'm going on a cruise to Spain next year. Uh, Scott Weber, my mom loves regions and swears by them. Way, way too pricey for me, but I can see why she swears by them. Uh, I can see why. Uh, Iskew was a 21 day trip. So, yeah, a little less than a thousand a day, I guess, 800 something. Um, Canadian, um, yeah. Uh, Blaine, I uh, think he meant cause we have a Tom Henry and a Thomas Henry, same pictures. Oh, okay. Ah, Bruce, the problem is I am in the chat twice, so someone is impersonating me. Okay, Tom. Uh, interesting, interesting. Okay, Debbie, why are you typing both as Tom and Thomas, Mr. Henry? Uh, Steaming Bean, I am going to get that spa. Watch out. I will be in my Speedo. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not there. <laughs> Elusive hag, uh, hacker. I'm hiding from the feds right now. Yeah, yeah okay. Um, yes. Uh, oh, there we are. Um, uh, oh my goodness. Uh, who's real and who's Memorex here? Who's impersonating Tom? Oh, oh my goodness. Uh, seeming being stolen identity is pathetic. I hear you there. Um, wow. Um, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Um, Oh my goodness gracious me! Uh, how do we uh, how do we handle that one? Uh, that's what I'm kind of curious about. That's what I'm curious about. Um, let's see here. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, we'll have to see what's going on here. Um, Tom Henry Dudley Guma will be dispatched to find you, elusive. Uh, Steamy Bean, Bruce, you need a moderator. Yeah, and I need a moderator who really knows this stuff uh, way more than I do because I only have uh, limited experience in this area. Um, Isky Park, look at the date that the account was made. Um, wish I could. Uh, Seakeeper, whack them both. Uh, Tom Henry, wh whoever is impersonating Tom needs to go away. Uh, Randy Lucas, ditto what Bean said. Uh, I hear you, Randy. Uh, I hear you there. Um, uh, yeah, isn't this isn't this isn't this uh, interesting? What's going on? Isn't this most 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 interesting? Uh, what's going on? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Just keep an eye on things here. All right. By the way, I got a couple of uh, trivia questions for you guys today. If you're interested in, interested in some trivia, 
uh, put some together for you. Um, Tom Henry, thanks, C Keeper. Uh huh. Uh, Blaine, I need to. I need. I make a motion for Bean to be a mod. Do I have a second? Tracy Dunlop, uh, that video posted on Jeff's uh, <laughs> Facebook. The answer, guys, is hilarious. When you do group crews, you all need to do this. <laughs> <I'll slap up. laughs> I'm not volunteering for this. Uh, oh my goodness, uh, Tom Henry, whack the Thomas, uh, whack the Thomas Sea Keeper, Isku Park, Tokyo. <laughs> Oh man, oh man, unbelievable. Um, yeah, fun times. Um, right, right. Let me double check here. Sorry, folks, I'm just taking a look at my early, uh, my early uh, postings here. Um, just checking my early postings here. And uh, double checking here. Yeah. <laughs> We're losing time. Right. Uh, sorry, folks. I'm still just checking something else here. Um, double checking, double checking, double check. Okay. Got it. All right. Hang on. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Um, there we are. Thomas is gone, um, and I think I got I got rid of the right one. Um, I think this is going to be done for uh, Tom Henry. I think you're good. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, Ken, Tokyo is a place I've always wanted to go. Uh, Kathy Butler, Thomas Henry is fake, and Tom Henry is real. And uh, Thomas has been deleted. Sniffer, sniffer. Oh, here we go. We got another one. Uh, We've got another one. That one's gone. Uh, let's see. And uh, I think we got another one right here. Goodbye. Um, there we go. Thank you, Kathy. Uh, we got that one gone. Oh, another one. Got that one gone too, Tom. He's gone too. Uh, a couple more have just been eliminated from contention. I have to keep an eye open for him. That's all I can do. All right. Uh, trivia. Anybody want some trivia today? Um, I've got uh, three for you. Three I put together, and these are short and quick, and we'll see if you guys uh, how you guys do on them. I'll keep an eye open as well uh, for uh, trolls. Uh, tell me, um, countries of the world with the most beachfront hotels. What countries in the world uh, have the uh, have the most beachfront hotels? And Tom and I could never get the picture to go with the Thomas Logan logo, no matter how. The fake, I don't know how the fake did it. Cool jazz, yay, <laughs> trivia. Uh, they are crafty. They're bastards, but they're crappy. Crafty. All right. Uh, top 10 countries with the most beachfront hotels. Take your best guess. Uh, USA uh, is coming in here as well. Uh, there we go. Uh, we have another one there, and uh, we'll get rid of that guy uh, for sure. There we go. And uh, let's see here. Yep. Okay, that one's gone. So USA uh, uh, from uh, from uh, Steaming Bean and Tracy and from Debbie and USA is on the list. Uh, I don't have how many and I don't know where on the list, but they're on the top ten. Um, I've got China from the Steaming Bean and uh, China is not on the top ten list for beachfront hotels. Mexico, Randy Lucas, yes, it is on the list. Uh, Debbie said USA as well. Blaine, Thailand, uh, yes, Thailand is on the list. Uh, Mexico from Sylvia, we already have. Jamaica, is Hugh Park thinking Jamaica? Nope, uh, not on the top 10. Uh, Steamy Bean, Australia? Uh, nope, not in the top 10. Uh, Blaine is thinking about Italy. Yes, they are in the top 10. Uh, Seakeeper, Thailand, which we uh, which we have. Uh, Tracy Dunlop, UAE? Nope. Steamy Bean, Thailand, we have. Debbie Manuel, New Zealand? Nope. Um, Spain from uh, Blaine? Yep, Blaine from Spain. You got it, buddy. <laughs> you got one. Uh, thanks, Blaine. Um, Sylvia, Bahamas. Bruce, what about the Bahamas? Um, nope, they're not in the top 10. Steamy Bean, Brazil. Uh, nope, they're not there either. Um, uh, Joan, Tom Henry. I'm get. I'm thinking you're guessing Jordan, but I, I, I could be wrong. Or, or are you uh, – Japan. Sorry, you're thinking Japan. You're guessing Japan, and it's not Japan. Sorry, they're not on the list. Blaine, Greece. Yes, Greece is on the list. 
Uh, Philippines, Blaine. Yes, on the list. I have three left. Uh, Thailand, we've been guessed already. Japan, here it was. Malaysia, uh, nope. I'm looking for, uh, let's see, New Zealand, UK, no. France, no. Portugal, uh, no. Uh, Philippines, no. Uh, hang on. Um, yep, here we go. We got another one. Here we go. We got another one. Do, 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 do. Gone. Gone forever. And uh, let's see what's next here. Um, Tom Henry, Argentina. Uh, no, I'm looking for um, uh, a country uh, in the Indian Sea. And I'm looking for a Mideast country and a country straddling Europe and Asia. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Here we go. And uh, let's see here. Um, Blaine, Egypt. Yep, that's one of them. And uh, Brazil, no. Uh, cool Jazz, that had to be Maureen, Maureen coming back. Camille uh, Castorina is seeing S South Africa. No. Uh, Turkey for the Mideast. Blaine, yeah, Turkey it is. Uh, leaving me one country uh, right near India in the Indian Ocean. Uh, let's see here. Turkey, Dubai. Nope. Um, just south of India, off the coast of India. It's its own island, its own country. And uh, two words. Um, and we'll see if anyone can get that one. And I'm watching for trolls. Watching for troll. It's troll patrol today. Troll patrol. What can I say? Troll patrol. Uh, Maldives? Nope, not the Maldives. Looking for two named, two words. The country has two words. Sri Lanka, here we are. We got it, Sri Lanka. Uh, Scott Weber. Thank you, Scott. All right, there you are. Uh, the Philippines, Greece, Egypt, Sri Lanka, Thailand, USA, Mexico, Spain, Italy, Turkey. Countries with the most uh, beachfront uh, hotels. Interesting, interesting list. Uh, well done. All right, um, let's see here. Countries with the most millionaires. What countries in the world have the most millionaires? There are uh, 19 on this list. Let's see if you guys can pick these off. Uh, a lot of them are the usual suspects, but then it gets interesting. Um, let's see. Uh, <laughs> uh, Tom Henry. <laughs> Watch my hairline. Right. Check my hairline. What a nickname. Wish I had a hairline. Steamy Bean. Darn, I had been to Sri Lanka and loved it there. Steamy Bean. Uh, millionaires. Uh, Singapore. He's wondering about Singapore. Uh, yeah, 17th on the list with 122 registered millionaires. I don't know what years this is from. I think it's about two or three years old. Um, Steaming Bean, uh, the US of A, number one, 4.7 million registered millionaires in the United States. 4.7 million. Uh, Kathy Butler, China. Yep, third place, 670,000 millionaires. Uh, Scott Weber, USA. Uh, Tom Henry, United Arab Emirates. No, UAE did not make the list. Uh, on this uh, on this uh, on this survey, uh, Tracy Dunlop, USA. We have Blaine, uh, Japan, uh, Japan number two on the list. One point two million millionaires in Japan. Saudi Arabia. Scott Weber, eighteenth uh, on the list. One hundred sixteen thousand of them. Yeah, uh, Isku Park. Uh, bald is best. There you go. Steaming Bean. Russia, uh, Russia for millionaires. Um, looking. I'm looking. I'm looking for Russia. <clears throat> for the numbers of millionaires, <clears throat> no, uh, 92,000 or more is the number. Russia doesn't have 92,000 or more millionaires. Isn't that interesting? Uh, there's billionaires in Russia too. And uh, yet, you know, what can I say? Uh, what do we got here? Uh, Kathy Butler, Russia. Tracy's going for Russia. Cool Jazz, Morocco. Morocco, no, didn't make it. Cool Jazz, uh, not, they didn't make the list. Uh, Sylvia, Saudi Arabia, we have already. Scott Weber, uh, England or the UK. Fourth on the list, 485,000 millionaires in the UK. Steaming Bean, Kuwait. Uh, no, uh, not 92,000 or more. There are millionaires, but not enough to make that high number. Uh, Switzerland, Tracy Dunlap. Yeah, seventh overall, 283,000 registered millionaires of Switzerland. Blaine, Germany, fifth on the list, 430,000. More millionaires in Switzerland. They don't pay tax in Switzerland, apparently. They pay tax in Germany. More millionaires in Germany. Go figure. Uh, Mexico, uh, Kathy Butler. What about Mexico? Um, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Uh, Mexico for a million. No, not a high enough to make the list. Sweden, Tracy Dunlop. Sweden, um, no, didn't make it. Uh, Italy, Blaine is thinking about Italy. 
Yeah, sixth on the list with 300,000 registered millionaires. Um, Iskew Park, uh, Mo Monaco. No, Monaco didn't make it either. Um, let's see here. Um, let's see if we can do that and uh, do that. Um, very good. And uh, let's see here. Tracy Dunlop, Canada. Canada, yes. Canada is on the list. Tenth place. 162,000 registered millionaires in this country, Canada. We only have 36 million people. That's amazing. Yep, we do have them. Um, Tracy Dunlop, Japan, we have. Scott Weber, Germany, we have. Cool Jazz, most of those are basketball players too. Uh, Blaine, the UK, we got. Steaming Bean, India. Uh, does India cut the list here? Yeah, 14th place, 139,000 in India. There are more millionaires in Canada than India, and India has a billion people. It's incredible. Uh, South Korea, Tom Henry. Yes, South Korea is 19th on the list with 92,000. They just made the list. Uh, Kathy Butler, good point. Cool Jazz, our overpaid sports players. There you go. Sylvia, uh, Canada, we have it. Tom Henry, Colombia, all drug lords. <laughs> well, they're not registered millionaires, okay? They're un unregistered, uh, but they, we don't have 92,000 or more of them, so no. Uh, small clique, I would say. Very small clique. Kathy Butler, India, we've got it. Uh, Blaine, Australia, I think so. Uh, yeah, 15th place, 136,000 in Australia. Uh, uh, there you go. There we go. We got another one here. Goodbye. And uh, let's see here. Uh, that one is gone. And that one's gone. Okay, India, we did. Australia, we did. France, a steaming bean, France. Yep, eighth place, 280,000 millionaires in France. Scott Weber, Canada, Kathy Butler, Singapore. Uh, we have already done it. Um, amazingly, 122,000 millionaires in Singapore, country of five and a half million, maybe six million. It's a high number, quite high percentage. Um, Austria, Blaine is thinking about Austria, and uh, Austria is not on the list. No, nope, not 92,000 or more, anyway. Indonesia, steaming bean, uh, question mark, Indonesia? No, nope, not, uh, not Indonesia. Malaysia. Uh, nope, not Malaysia either. China, we have already. Steamy Bean, UK, we have. Germany, we have already. Uh, Sylvia, uh, Scott, Me Weber, Mexico, we've tried already. Taiwan, Blaine is thinking about Taiwan. Uh, 230,000 millionaires in Taiwan, ninth place overall. Uh, yes, uh, there we go. Um, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Blaine, Belgium. Uh, Belgium is, uh, yeah, 11th place overall, 157,000. Israel, Kathy Butler, no. Uh, Israel is not on the list. Uh, South Korea uh, was on the list, 19th. They just made the cut. Sylvia, whomever says you're fat is not very nice. Darn trolls. <laughs> I mean, I'm healthy. You know, I, I'm not like skinny, but uh, fat? I don't know about that. Blaine. Uh, Spain, we already have. Uh, Taiwan, we have A.J. Walsh. Uh, Sylvia, Af so, uh, Africa, South Africa, maybe? Uh, nope, not on the list. I'm looking for one, two, three countries. Here's who you got. You got the United States, Japan, China, U.K., Germany, Italy, Switzerland, France, Taiwan, Canada, Belgium, India, Australia, Singapore, Saudi Arabia, South Korea. There are uh, one, two, three countries to go. Two in Europe, one in South America. Two in Europe, one in South America. Oman won't cut it. Uh, Tom Henry, good thing they could not see the rest of us if Bruce is fat. <laughs> I mean, if Bruce is fat, what about the rest of us? Oh, God. <laughs> uh, Steamy Bean, South Africa. No, Tom Henry, laughing out loud. Scott Weber, Netherlands. Uh, yes, number 12th place. 12th place, 152,000 millionaires in the Netherlands. Kuwait, not the Mideast country I'm looking for. There isn't a Mideast country I'm looking for. I'm looking for a European country and a South African country. Kuwait does not have 92,000 or more millionaires. There are millionaires in Kuwait, but not 92,000 or more. Uh, huh? uh, yeah. Um, Malachi James. Mm, mm, Malachi. Don't know Malachi. Steamy Bean, Bahrain, no. Iran, no. Uh, Argentina, no. Brazil, yes. Brazil, 16th place, 126,000 registered millionaires in Brazil. Tom Henry, well done. Steamy Bean, Brazil. Blaine, Netherlands. Uh, no. Uh, Steamy Bean, Chile. I'm looking for one European country. Sylvia, Turkey. No. Sylvia, Norway. No. Qatar. No. Denmark. No. Looking for one European country uh, next door to uh, France. 
next door to Portugal. And uh, we'll see if we can pick that one off. And that will do this uh, quiz. We've got this, uh, we've got this trivia question nailed down here. Uh, Sweden, not Sweden. Nope. Uh, how old is Malachi using Kai as a reference? <laughs> uh, the steaming bean, Spain. It is Spain, 13th place, 148,000 registered millionaires. The USA at 4.7 million is number one. Japan, 1.2 million is number two. Uh, China, 670,000. UK, 485,000. Uh, Germany, 430,000. Italy, 300,000. Switzerland, 283,000 millionaires. France, 280,000. Taiwan, 230,000. Canada, 162,000 registered millionaires in Canada. Belgium, 157,000. Netherlands, 152,000. Spain, 148. India, 139,000. Australia, 136,000. Brazil, 126. Singapore, 122,000. Saudi Arabia, 116,000. South Korea, 92,000. Quite, uh, quite something. Uh, oops, mistakes happen. Blame. <laughs> uh, so that those are the numbers for millionaires, uh, most millionaires in the world. Now let's go completely the opposite. Uh, last, last quiz, last trivia. Poor people per billionaire. Uh, if a country has a billionaire. How many people, how many poor people, really poor, are there per country? Uh, so I'm really looking for some of the uh, – it's shocking, some of the countries on this list, actually, um, because there's rich and then there's poor. But I'm looking for the countries with the most poor people per capita as opposed to billionaires in the country. And uh, you'll get a drift of what we're talking about when you start seeing the list come together here. Uh, but take your take your best pick there, Cool Jazz. We got another. Uh, yeah, there you go. We got another. Malachi, you're out of here. Uh, okay, Cool Jazz. We got another. Steamy Bean, China. Uh, Kathy Butler. Oh, geez, these kids need a job. Steamy Bean, Russia. Jim Thomas, USA. Kathy Butler, Mexico. Uh, okay, let's see. Um, a first guest uh, came in here from uh, Steamy Bean. He's thinking China. China is actually on the list. Uh, there are 1.1 million very poor people per billionaire in China. 1.1 million per billionaire. Yeah. Um, well, if you have 1.3 billion to count, you know, you can make this work. Kathy Butler, oh, geez, these kids need a job. Steaming Bean, Russia. Uh, Russia is not on the list. No. Uh, the United States of America, Jim Thomas is wondering about. No, not on the list. Kathy Butler, Mexico. Uh, Mexico, not on the list. Uh, Steamy Bean, Malaysia. Uh, no, not on the list. Um, <laughs> there we go. AJ Walt, I suggest a traveling with Bruce Troll Patrol t shirt. <laughs> there you go. Cool Jazz, uh, where is Seakeeper with the hammer? Uh, Steaming Bean, uh, Indonesia. Um, yes, seventh on the list. 1.2 uh, very poor people per billionaire. Just ahead of China. A.J. Walsh, Vietnam. What about Vietnam? Uh, nope, Vietnam, not that poor. Uh, Ethiopia? Uh, I went there. I thought Ethiopia would be on this list. No, not on the list. Tom Henry, send them over to Cruise Tips TV. I see Sherry is live. Send the trolls, yeah. Brandon James, real account. Bruce, I went on a cruise from UK to Portugal. It was fun. Uh, and first class. Brandon James is saying, uh, yeah, Brandon, uh, Tom Henry, good idea, AJ, um, Steamy Bean, Nigeria, Nigeria, number one on the list, 51 million poor per billionaire, 51 million versus a billionaire, unbelievable, uh, Nicaragua, not on the list, no, uh, South Korea from Jim Thomas, uh, no, no, not on the list, uh, Spain from Sylvia Swan, no, um turkey uh not on not on the list uh taiwan no no uh Thai, th these are countries doing very well they they're not on this list somalia um i thought for sure somalia was on this uh, list debbie manuel north korea they don't have they don't have one rich person on the country i think north korea doesn't have a billionaire and so they can't count anybody uh <laughs> kathy butler venezuela uh yes 10th on the list uh, 509,000 uh, dirt poor people per billionaire. Yeah, 509,000 to one. Uh, Steaming Bean, Zimbabwe. Uh, no, not, not showing. Uh, they are probably poor, but don't have enough of a population to count. I'm not sure, though. Uh, AJ Walsh, Dominican Republic. No. Brandon James, real account. Bruce, I went in the pool. 
It was so fun. The suites were amazing and the bed was comfy. I recognized it a lot. The parties were good. Is Brandon, you, you just you just you just don't sound like a cruiser to me. There's <laughs> something not right. Uh Brandon, you just not you just not sounding right to us. Uh there's something not there. Uh Haiti from Kathy Butler. No, Cuba, no. Uh Haiti again. No, Haiti, Cuba did not make the list. Um in, in, uh, in uh, probably because it's impossible to count, I suppose. Uh hard to say. Uh, let's see. I'm still looking for, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six countries to go. And I'm looking at, um, uh, let's see here. Two in South America, one in Africa. Uh, I'm just double checking my thing. Yeah. One in Africa and, um, the rest are in Asia. Um, let's see. Uh, whack that name. Cool jazz is saying whack that name. And uh, let's see here. Done. Done. Um, Kathy Butler, Guyana? No, not Guyana. Um, not Guyana. Um, one African country. Um, and and uh, one, two, three uh, Asian and one South American. Okay. Uh, Nigeria, no. Uh, Ecuador, nope. Um, good guesses, though, I'll tell you that. Uh, Peru, no. Um, okay, let's see if we get uh, we get some guesses coming through here. Uh, <clears throat> one South America, three in Asia, and uh, um, one in Africa. Uh, Uganda, nope. Uh, another good guess. Uh, think a highly high population African country and think south, way south. Uh, Bolivia, nope. Uh, okay. See, I, as, as a matter of fact, I, see, I need two South American countries. I need two of them. Bangladesh, next door to Bangladesh is one of these countries, I believe. Uh, let's see here. Uh, uh, Uruguay, uh, no, but oh, are you in the right neighborhood? Um, what do we got here? Uh, sorry, uh, South Africa. Thank you. South Africa is one of them. 3.2 million poor per billionaire in South Africa. Congo, uh, no, Mongolia, no, Myanmar, other direction. Don't go to Myanmar. Bangladesh, go the other direction. Uh, that's still called Asia. Um, is it really called what did we used to call it Asia Minor? I don't know where that term came from. I'm not sure. Uh, Chile, no, I still need one more South American country, but it's not Chile, but it does start with the letter C. Pakistan, yes, Pakistan is on the list. Uh, 38 million poor per billionaire. 38 million to one. Uh, I have another country beside Pakistan. Here we are, India, 9 million to one. Uh, then I see Paraguay coming up, but it's not Paraguay I'm looking for. I'm looking for two South American countries and one Asian country which is an island nation in Asia. Uh, let's see, India, we have Colombia. Thank you, Colombia is one of them. Three, uh, 3.7 million poor per billionaire. Yeah, 3.7 million to one in Colombia. Thank you, with an O, correct. <laughs> Scott, Tom, Sylvia, they're all coming in there with that one. So uh, I need one South American country and one Asian country that's an island nation. Uh, let's see here. Lives in a series of islands, not just one. They have a series of islands. Uh, let's see. Uh, I believe everyone else we have. We have Nigeria. We have Pakistan. We have India. We have Colombia, South Africa, Indonesia, China, and Venezuela. We have them already. I need one South African country, uh, one uh, Asian country. The South, the South American country is in dire financial straits right now. Steaming bean, Philippines. You got it. Uh, there's the Philippines. Five point three million to one. Uh, that is our Asian side. Uh, Malaysia did not count. Ecuador, no. Uh, there's a South American country in dire straits right now. Just entered a uh, real mess. They're seeking help from the IMF right now. Argentina, Tom Henry, there you go. It's to Argentina, 902,000 to one for, uh, for poverty. Yeah, Though, that's the quiz. That's the, that's the, uh, the uh, trivia question. Nigeria at 51 million to one. Uh, Pakistan, 38 million to one. India, 9 million to 1. Philippines, 5.3 million to 1. Colombia, 3.7 million to 1. South Africa, 3.2 million to 1. Indonesia, 1.2 million. China, 1.1 million. 
Argentina 902,000 and Venezuela 509,000 to one with a ratio of uh, very destitute versus billionaires. It's, uh, it's not, a happy, not a happy stat, but that's life. That's what it is. That is our trivia for the day. We're done. Uh, not too bad. Guys, I want to thank you for hanging in with me. Uh, I know that uh, you've, you've been through all this troll nonsense with me. Sorry about that. Uh, I'm hoping that uh, they just get tired of us. And also, as we keep eliminating them, they basically can't come back. Uh, I've hidden them from the channel. And uh, we'll see if that does them in. But we'll, you know, time will tell. Hopefully, attrition will eat them up. They'll go elsewhere where the grass is greener and try to keep uh, trolling along. But uh, thanks again for all your support. Thanks again for the, hitting my link on Amazon, the affiliate link right below, shopping on Amazon through Traveling with Bruce's affiliate link. Love it. Thank you so much. It really helps. And, of course, the uh, the out-and-out -out donations through PayPal. Thank you again, everybody, for that. And thank you uh, for uh, watching and your comments and your thumbs-ups. Uh, uh, it just it's just so inspirational i love it i just it just keeps me going and um uh, they'll come back with new names cool jet i know that uh, some of them will eventually just give up because we're on to them we're waiting have a good sunday bruce cool jazz have a good one too uh suzanne thank you tom henry have a good one tracy take care aj walsh uh the steamer you take her easy pal have a great weekend scott weber blaine uh jim thomas uh hang in there uh with that knee of yours take back the empties pay that bill off as best you can unbelievable uh kathy butler as always jim thomas of course as i just said blaine and i'm just going back with all the names that i've seen here of the good guys uh, thank you all you good people uh, uh go to hell trolls <laughs> i'll see what happens i'll see you monday on my next show unless something comes up in the meantime this is bruce with traveling with bruce saying thanks for joining me today a uh, june the 23rd saturday's edition and uh thank you for uh, for watching and uh and uh, I enjoyed it very much. Apart from the trolls, it's all good. You guys take care. I'll see you Monday at 5 o'clock. All right, guys, take care. Bye for now.